When, when Jesus was fallen on his face and worshipped the Father, why didn't he worship himself then? He worship Jesus after seeing him again, knowing he had been dead, and now he's alive. That's worship. Okay, 920, a man who was blind from birth is healed. Worship Jesus, saying, Lord, I believe. Okay, no. It's all over. Okay. Uh, many more scriptures. We can go on all day. How many times? What I'm saying to you, what I'm saying, listen to me one second. Jesus submit, serve, obey, glorify, praise, and fall on his face to worship is the one who sent him, the Father. So how can he be God when he will sit, sit on the right hand side from the mighty one, the true God, which he address in John 17, 3. How can be two gods then? One, can I, to... can I say one thing? Is it impossible? Okay, you don't believe Jesus was God, okay? Yeah, is it impossible for God? Wait, wait. Is it impossible? No, we believe with man it's impossible because we have a limited, we have limited understanding, okay? God's infinite wisdom is far beyond ours, okay? We all can agree on that. So is it impossible for God to be in heaven and on earth at the same time? Yes. So it's impossible. You're saying that it's impossible. God is God infinite. Of course he's infinite. He's eternal. No, no, no. He's he's one at a time. Okay, if you look and get me, I start the debate with you. I finished the, the debate. But what if everybody jump in? You spoil it. What the topic, topic, topic. Look, let me tell you something. You yeah? Jesus made it clear that he had a God and he was that God. Can God have a God? Can God have a God? Yeah. God is God. God can be God and not at the same I'm time. Asking, can God have a God? Yes, okay, yeah. Can God have a God? He can be on earth and in heaven at okay. the same time. No, That's the answer to that. So okay. when Jesus was in the earth, he was worshiping God. With God was he worshiping? Yeah, say one thing, he worshiping the Father. He was what? Worshiping the Father. Worshiping the Father. The Father yeah. No, he said he was worshiping God. Worshiping the Father. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. No, no, no. It's not in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So, sorry. I go into all the world, okay, go into all the world and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Wait, wait, wait. That's, what, that's what Jesus said. You said with, no, that's in scripture. Stop lying. That's in the Bible. Go into all the world and baptize. Listen, listen, listen. And then he says, listen, you know what? What is so amazing about you? You quote here yeah, and yeah. You don't even know why in the Bible I can put the context. But you don't even know. So, you are quoting here and here. Yeah, you don't so even know. Scripture. But you don't. It's, 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 it's in the Bible. But how do you know that? Do you know? Have you read it? No, no, no. Go into all the world and baptize the name of the Father, Can you actually get that scripture? <laughs> baptize them by going to all the world and baptize the name of the Father. What's that? 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 Says that Jesus Christ is God. So, Paul says so, so, He was God made manifest in the flesh. Do you know that scripture? I don't want to hear Paul. I don't want Paul. I want Jesus. Want Paul. Jesus said, You see me, you see the Father. But we, we put that in the context. Let me finish. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. I know that. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. I know the verse. Yeah. I know it. Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize in the name of the Father. That's the scripture I said. And I'm just start to say, What does that mean? Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. So what do you understand about that? Baptizing in the name no, of the Father and the Holy Spirit. I can't believe it. The Holy Trinity. Uh, the Holy Trinity. That's the Holy Trinity there. He's saying, go and make disciples of all nations. Yeah. Baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He's talking about baptism. Yeah, Can you what? believe it? Is Why did he say, okay, go and uh, uh, just okay, baptize okay, in the name okay, of the okay, Father. Okay, okay, okay. He says, Son okay. and Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. Show me a verse where the disciples follow the instruction. Show me a verse in the Bible where the disciples baptize, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Show me. You can't. Yeah. Instead, yeah, yeah, but no, that no, doesn't no, make no, a no, difference. You're, you're, but it, uh, Jesus said that. You're, you're just because the. Have you got a word come up reasoning? He said, Go. He instructed the disciples to go and baptize in the name of the Father and the name of the Son. Did they do it? Did they, do did they carry out the command? He instructed them to do what? Did they do it? They went baptizing. No, they sorry, went sorry. baptizing. I said, show me the pastor. They went back. No, no, sorry. Can I tell you what they did? 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 They baptized only. They listen to me. Listen to me. No, 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 listen to me. No, 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 no. Listen to me. No. Come and quote it. Come and quote it. What did they do? What did they do? 
Christians are baptizing. We're not, we're talking about Christians. Christians baptize in the name of the no, Father and no. Son. I got baptized in the name of the no, Father and no, Son and Holy no, Spirit. Yeah, I know you because have, the Bible. I, I can see your wisdom in your mind. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. I know the truth. God everywhere. Now, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Jesus. According to Jesus, who is the only true God? According to Jesus, who is the only true God? Jesus is God, the Father is God, and the Holy Spirit no, no, no. is God. According, according, read John 73. John 17. Yeah, oh, oh, you read John. You read. Yeah, I, you I know in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I read it? Can John 73. <laughs> Can't believe it. I said to him, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, uh, you know, you know, let, let me quote. Let me quote it. Read it. John 17. John 17. John 17. One to two. Jesus was praying to Almighty God. The disciples were there. When he came to verse number three, he said, "And this is eternal life, that they might know that you are the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom we have sent." So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Jesus Christ is God. I'm going now. That's all. I'm just going to tell you. The guy, Jesus the guy can see. God. He's Jesus wasting my time. I'm not wasting your time. But, but read, read it. I, I, I can't read it. He's it's not, it's not, it's not it's my Bible. Bible. He'd be on the shoulder. The man feel like my Bible. He's being called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Prophecy. Isaiah prophesied. And it came true. Listen to me. It came true. 
it's been fulfilled. What was already? I'm gonna go because Isaiah 9 6 has been fulfilled. You don't even know Isaiah 9 6. It's been fulfilled. Do you know what the prophecy is? It's your prophecy is the future. The future how, 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 is how, how do you fulfill it? Because he's already kept my counsel. No, that's not the one. Also, child to be born. Yeah. He will be called everlasting God. 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 Mighty counselor. Prince of God. Was there everlasting God? Mighty counselor. Prince of Peace. He will be called. I said you not. Because of prophecy. Show me a verse where anyone called Jesus. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. I become a Christian. Your Bible is out there. Yeah. Anyone call him? Where's that guy here? Yeah. He, is anyone? No, no, don't call him. No, 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 Isaiah, he prophesied 800 years, 800 years before Jesus came. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not being flippant. You didn't just, I know you're, you're, you're too you're playing a game. As I now say, you say it's a prophecy. He will be called. Wonderful yeah, yeah. Mighty God, so everlasting Father. Judges, Anyone called Jesus Almighty God, everlasting Father? Yeah. No. Yes. Are you are pretty, you are, you are, you are, Judges yeah. chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. That's Who? Who's up? Who's up? Yeah. Where? Yes. Yes. Judges chapter 2. Jesus, you are going to the Old Testament. Yes. Jesus. When Jesus was on the earth, as I prophesied, who put okay. everlasting past? So let me see. Come on, I know you, you're not so wasted. I debated with you last time. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, you waste my time. The name Jesus went to Jesus. The name Jesus is not the Old Testament. He's not there. Come on, you're wasting my time. Don't speak to me. I'm going to go to Jesus. You might get more coming for this time. And I'm not going to go. That's what I'm going to do. Go and study your Bible. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. The God of the Old Testament and the God of the New Testament. And then he said, How many books are there? No, how many books are there? No, how many books are there? And it says, And they killed the Messiah and all they have. And the God of the New Testament. And then he said, God of the Old Testament. The Bible of the Old Testament. Oh, I probably am. But where are you? The Bible prophesied the Son of the Man coming into this world and dying for the dead man. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. I said, The God of the Old Testament. The God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. The God of Israel. Like, show up. Is it the same God? The same God? Yes. Okay, that's God. That's God. You know what he said about himself in the Old Testament? Quote me one verse. What did the God of the Old Genesis Testament say about his attributes? Do you know what? Okay, let me quote you. Let me finish. You read the Bible. You read the Bible. You ask him. I didn't ask you. You read the Bible. In the Gospel, in the book of Exodus, Exodus 23 to the Father. Exodus 20 to 5. You know what he said? You shall have Exodus 20 to 5. You shall have no other God besides me. You shall not make a grave in it. Or any life of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in earth beneath, and that is in yeah, under the water, yeah. you yes. shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God. Yes. What do you understand by that? No. How many times? How many times did Jesus Christ accept worship? How many times did Jesus accept worship? Okay, you've just said a no God before me. Okay, two gods that God of the Old Testament. The God of the Old Testament declared there is only one God. He's the same. I mean, there is the problem. One is talking about one God. I can see that you are everywhere. You are not that nice. You can't put the project. I'm talking to you. You're all over the place. I'm in the right place. You're in the right place. Jesus never said he's God. Never said worship him. Nowhere. He's going to obscure verses. Know what Jesus said. Let me quote. Know what Jesus said. Know what Jesus, let me quote what Jesus said. Yeah, Jesus said. Listen to me. In the gospel story. Gospel of John, chapter 14. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. John 14, 21. I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Yeah, Gospel of John. Let me finish. Gospel of John, chapter number 20, verse number 17. Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, Touch me not. Touch me not. For I am the ascended of the Father. The Lord said to them, I am the ascended of the Father. To my God and your God. Okay, he's going to see. I have no faith. Yeah, exactly. I know Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, but you can prove it. Jesus never said he's God, never said what he's doing. He's not there. Yes, no one can prove it.